Welcome to another episode of Entrepreneurs on Fuego. We're documenting the journey of incredible entrepreneurs, one digital footprint at a time, and entrepreneurs who help other entrepreneurs get into the big time business. Nick Andrews, man. Fund my business, AZ. How you doing? Doing fantastic. Thank you very much. I, I, ex, explain, by the way, man, I, I just, every time I see you, man, it's just, you are the epitome of what an entrepreneur here in Arizona should look like, right? I mean, that's it. Well, the, thank you. The black cowboy hat, just the, the whole image, man. You got it, man. Well, I got it going on. We try. I try. That's my <laughs> signature, right? I want to be noticed. I want people to remember me. <laughs> Absolutely. So, so tell us more about Find My Business. Uh, Arizona.com. Sure. Yep. Uh, sure. Yeah. Sure. You know, I think the main thing that people need to know is that when the governor signed House Bill 2591, two major things happened. Mm -hmm. Number one is it allows any Arizona resident the opportunity to invest up to $10,000 in startup businesses and allows those startup businesses to solicit those investments over the internet and neither of those were allowed previously. So this is a big deal. Up to $10,000 each individual. Each individual. Now if that individual is accredited okay. and uh, that means that they have net worth of a million bucks or they make 200000 annually or 300000 as a married couple, those folks have no monetary limitation on how much they can invest into uh, a crowdfunding campaign. So what is what does your business do? Do you do you kind of provide that platform for those businesses to come in, put their um, solicitation, if you will, uh, for lack of a better definition, and then you find also the funders for that for that business. Is that what you do? We give them structure. That's, ah. uh, that's exactly okay. what we do. We've uh, we've created a fund ready ten step certification process. This is the vetting process. This is going to help them get through the equity crowdfunding provision, so they meet the state requirements. There's a couple fail safes in there so we and what I mean by that is we have their projections reviewed by a third party CPA to make sure they're in concert with the industry they serve and right. we have a third party attorney take the time and review all of the paperwork make sure they've not made any promises or guarantees uh, but so long as they follow this system uh, they're pretty much guaranteed to get through the process uh, in uh, entrepreneurs need to have uh, some business savvy and they need to have a social marketing plan. Absolutely. So those are the two two biggies. And, and you, where, where you come in though, is you provide, and I'm sure you've seen like thousands of business plans and thousands of things that, sure. that, that are coming to you yeah. that are maybe a little bit on the wild side. That, so what your job is, wait a minute, this is, in order mm -hmm. for you to be in my platform, you have to comply to this industry standards and that's what you help them do. Correct. Yeah, this is the crowdfunding consulting part of what we do. Okay. Once they get through the vetting process that earns them access to the web portal, the web portal that we own and operate is the only approved web portal in the entire state. So once they're through the process, now they put their project on the fundmybusinessaz.com website. Okay. There's a deal page. It goes into great detail about their project, who they are, what management experience, the industry they serve, their projections, how they arrived at those projections, a professional video, PowerPoint, pictures, anything that they need to make an educated decision. Once the investor goes there, x-rays that, has a chance to, to learn more about the company, they're going to enter into a deal room where they're going to see confidential documents, their disclosure documents, which is very similar to a private placement memorandum, which goes into very detailed information about the project, the offer, the terms, what's the minimum, what's the length, what's the exit strategy, what's the plan of the entrepreneur to get the investors paid back. Because the difference in what we're offering is we do debt and equity crowdfunding. Okay. We, we do not do rewards or donation crowdfunding. So people who come to us are anticipating uh, offering a financial return and the investors who come to us anticipate a financial return. So we have to make sure that they get it set up properly on the front end. Either through equity or through debt. And, well, and those expectations mm -hmm. are definitely spelled out in the, in the disclosures that mm -hmm. you have there. So mm -hmm. it's, you know, for, mm -hmm. for, for, for the lay person, right, where we hear crowdfunding mm -hmm. and this, this is, um, when you remove mm -hmm. the curtain, there's so many disclosures there and yes. so many protections, like you said, self, self um, uh, uh, safe checks that mm -hmm. um, people that go there really will understand what they're getting into. And that is very important. Oh yeah, we got to make sure that all those risks are identified up front because startups are a risky business. Sure, uh, but eighty you know, percent will fail. 
And this is a this is a really cool way for entrepreneurs to get their message out there. I mean, we can work with folks that are pre-revenue. We can work with folks that are looking for a second or third round of funding. Hmm. If they have an energized group of folks that believe in them and their project, this is a great way. We provide the structure to help them get the capital they need to launch their business. You 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 do not necessarily have to have sales in order to be on your platform. Is Correct. That, is that what I'm understanding? Now, we, we, we prefer if they do, and, right. the, and the investors absolutely prefer if they, they do. Because they can see some history sure. of what, what you've been doing this stuff. But think about this. 95% of deals don't get a second look if they have no revenue. In our model, if it's a good project, it's a good idea, a good, good management experience, they're winners, they've got a track record of winning, we can put early money together to help them get over that threshold and get their company launched. How many companies, um, because, since the launch of, uh, uh, of, of your site, how many companies do you have now in the, in, the, in the site? So we've been approached so far by 40 different companies from all different industries. Oh. Um, one uh, is raising money cap currently. Another one will be raising capital by the first week of January. We have six that are almost through the vetting process, and the rest we've pushed uh, off to some resources that they need, whether it be help with their projections, bringing in some more management experience. We, we don't ever really want to tell them no. We want to say, here's another resource for you. Come back to us when you're it's ready. It's not a fast process. It's a calculated process what you are doing. Correct. What's the best advice you ever got? Start. Don't wait. Uh, my mentor, Ray Kadeb, uh, 43 years of real estate experience, he was my mentor when I got started in real estate and I asked him that question. I said, what's the best advice you can give me? He said, son, start <laughs> right now. Don't wait. And so I, I like to share that. Mm -hmm. Nick Andrews. Francisco. Fantastic platform. Get a chance to go. Let, let's, let's repeat that. FundMyBusinessAZ.com. And by the way, we have a raise capital button. Oh. So, so, I mean, if we want to talk about that just for a moment, the, if an entrepreneur can click the raise capital button, it'll walk them through a one page questionnaire. We'll learn about them. We'll follow up with them. If you're an investor, you can sign up and uh, look at the new projects as they come available. You're going to get the last word, so uh, okay. you, you got to okay. say, we're out. Okay, we're out. <laughs>